In my recent videos, I've been talking about guitar picks. And so if you'd like to see me really talk about a large plethora of plectrums and compare them, I have so many different kinds. You can check out some of my previous videos if you would like. But in this video, I want to talk about one pick specifically that I talked about a little bit negatively perhaps maybe this pick was overlooked a little bit because I said maybe it's too small uh, but today I was practicing a Roy Buchanan guitar lick and it has a lot of artificial harmonics and I tried many different picks. Uh, my Petrucci 1.5 black pick was pretty good. I showed that in a previous video. But oddly, even though I usually find this Jazz 3 small shape is too small and my knuckles rub the strings too much, actually, for the purposes of playing uh, artificial harmonics, it was perfect because it allowed the edge of my thumb to be closer to the string and so it was easier to get the artificial harmonics. It takes a lot of practice to really be good at uh, artificial harmonics like Roy Buchanan is. But yeah, just want to tell you this is the uh, Jazz 3 Metallica Kirk Hammett and uh, it's the Purple Sparkle and uh, it really came in handy today. And I do play this pick from time to time. And it, it does let you do things that maybe you won't normally do, especially artificial harmonics. And it's, it's nice. And, I, and it's a different feel. And it lends to different playing. So it's, it's great. Uh, also, um, I have links for classes. You can take music classes with me. Uh, also, you may notice I'm wearing lovely crochet attire. Um, so if you would like to uh, buy something crochet or take a crochet class, we can do that. So um, check out the links below for classes, crochet classes, music classes, English classes, all kinds of classes. And also if you want to order something, my wife at Anna Simple Life can set you up or you can message me. So one more thing about this Kirk Hammett Metallica Purple Sparkle Small Jazz 3 pick with the crazy triangular edges. I like to keep it in this seashell along with a few others. But uh, I don't know how helpful this is, but uh, what I tried is sanding it and scoring in some edges, and roughing it up a bit on the top, and it does seem to help the grip. It does improve the grip, it seems. So it doesn't take much time to do that. And one more thing about this pick. Okay, Snow White. Yeah, you go, you go boss and police. Okay, so um, as you can see, it's an unusual shape. And so it may feel really awkward when you first try to grip it and play. So I just want to show you uh, how I like to grip it. So I, I let it rest here. So this, so this valley, this valley cut out, I let it rest um, close to the knuckle joint. It's close to this knuckle joint. Let me turn this off, see if that helps. All right, so it's this knuckle joint 
Now you see it's really close. And then, yeah, it's like right in there. I let the, let me stabilize my shaky hands. So if you can kind of see, it's, it's the groove. The groove is like right above, actually. It's above, it's, it's above the knuckle bend line a little bit. I'm trying my best to show it to you. And so when I grip it, it's like that. So as you can see, the, the amount of area that like my top, that my thumb, the grip surface area that my thumb comes into contact with, it's mostly on one side. But it does cover, like the rest of my thumb does cover like most of the Jazz 3 logo. Yeah, I would say it covers almost completely all of the Jazz 3, like when I really press down. So it looks like that. That's my grip. And it is pretty comfortable. And you can see how the corners like kind of dig in a little bit. They start to dig in. Oh, the shadow. Yeah, they start <laughs> the shadow. Okay, the shadow. So yeah, that's a Link Ray song, I think. All right, so that's that. Again, I teach music classes, all kinds of music classes, guitar classes, crochet classes, whatever, English classes. Check out the links.